Ascendancy is the new ritual weapon in Season of the Lost, and this one is a really powerful rocket launcher with a decent combination of perks. But today I'm going to check out the Ascendancy, its stats, its perks, plus look at how to get it nice and fast so you can be causing as many explosions as possible in Season of the Lost. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch This Week in Video Games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today by hitting that button down below and never miss an update. Each season, Bungie gives us a new ritual weapon to chase, and you can pick your path by getting it through either Zavala, Lord Shax, and also the Drifter, and you can play Strikes, Crucible, or Gambit. And the method to get the ritual weapon this season has changed slightly from seasons gone by, and I'll go into detail about that in a few minutes. But first of all, let's check out the weapon itself. So Ascendancy is a legendary power rocket launcher, and it's a precision frame, meaning the weapon fires a small auto-tracking missile and the missile locks onto targets when aimed. So looking at the stats, we've got 48 for stability, 47 for handling, 38 for reload speed, 56 for velocity, 65 for blast radius. It's a 15 rounds per minute rocket launcher with one in the magazine. Well, next up, let's have a look at how to get Ascendancy in Destiny 2. Well, this season, you simply have to rank up at vendors to get Ascendancy, and it becomes available at rank 16 on each of the rank up tracks from Zavala, Lord Shax, and the Drifter. So this provides a little bit of flexibility, so you can play the game mode you want to play, rather than forcing you down a path in a certain game mode via a quest. One thing you want to be taking advantage of here is the new Streaks feature. So this had been implemented in Crucible and Gambit before, but now it's available in Strikes, meaning you can stick to a playlist to get bonus streaks for staying in there. So when you are successful in a playlist, you gain a streak node, and this stacks up to five times, meaning you are going to get more points for leveling up that playlist. And it does mean you want to stick to a particular playlist, gain the streak bonus, and then you get the rank up rewards much quicker. So it also means you can double up on activities and rewards. For example, this season, I focused mainly on the Crucible by playing Trials of Osiris and Iron Banner. So given I was already gaining loot and rewards from these playlists, it meant getting to Ascendancy was much more of a fruitful experience. So regarding the effect on points gained related to streaks, you do get 135 points per strike in the Vanguard playlist with a 5 streak active, and then higher level Nightfalls increase the points even further. For example, you get 261 points for a Legend Nightfall, and if you have the 5 streak bonus active in Crucible, then you're still going to get 230 points from a match, even if you lose. So it is worth spending time in a single playlist and getting those streak bonuses. So the quickest way to get Ascendancy is to grind out higher level Nightfalls, for example Legend and Master, and this is a decent path through the reward, as you're also going to be getting Nightfall weapons to drop, as well as Prisms and other Ascendant Shards too. So I think higher level Nightfalls are the fastest way to get Ascendancy, but as I mentioned you can play the game mode that you like, for example Crucible as there's a fair amount of variety this season with regular Crucible, Trials of Osiris and also Iron Banner, and if you want you can even play Gambit too. Well next up let's have a look at the Ascendancy perks, so Ascendancy is a precision frame rocket launcher which is one of the better rocket launchers in the game right now due to the auto locking on target. So as with all ritual weapons, it comes fully masterworked and you have a choice of perks. So first of all, you've got impulse amplifier and this increases the velocity of the rockets as well as the reload speed. So it's really useful on rocket launchers. We also have ambitious assassin and that could mean two rockets in the magazine after a successful kill with the weapon. In the second column of perks, you've got Explosive Light, and that one got a big buff this season. So by picking up an orb of power, you can increase the damage and the blast radius of the rocket launcher. And then you've got the other perk here, that is Chain Reaction, and that causes elemental damage explosions, and that is a fantastic perk for clearing a path through a bunch of smaller enemies. So all in all, some really good choices here for the perks, and given the buff to Explosive Light, I've been using that a bunch, and it does appear comparable to the damage of Vorpal Weapon. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think of Ascendancy, plus which route did you take to get it. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get Ascendancy in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description. Or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.